What is up guys and welcome back to the final episode of The Wolf Among Us. I've been seeing a lot of comments, obviously we have just finished Detroit Become Human, I'm just working through my second playthrough of that now, and people have been asking, where is The Wolf Among Us? So, let's do this! Apparently this final episode is actually quite short, so it's just a little over an hour. It's definitely one of the shorter I mean, your eyes and Telltale the games. Teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <coughs> not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> Let's do this! No major introduction needed. Can I even speak today? I'm actually really excited for this. So, I'm getting my wish, my goal, was I wanted to finish The Wolf Among Us Season 1 before E3. Now, E3 is two weeks away, I think it's less than two weeks now, which is crazy. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna see some Wolf Among Us 2 stuff. I've been following Telltale on Twitter. And I've been trying to avoid anything related to the Wolf Among Us because I just don't want to get spoiled. So I'm happy we're doing this. I'm gonna find out what happens and hopefully get a better ending than I got in Detroit anyway. Because uh, that was pretty bad. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well... Gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? 
I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Hmm? Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Or what? You're gonna kill me too? Well, go ahead. You think I give a shit anymore? After what you did! That's enough! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. What? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. You piece of shit. I should have fucking known. Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did she I miss creeps anything? me out. Well, look at you all fixed up. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I'm by myself here. 
Over here! What the fuck? You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. What? Are you I'd kidding like to me? Say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him! Now! Oh! Well, that was stupid of you, wasn't it? Oh! Fuck, man. Oh, God. This thing's a dick, man. Go away. This way. so well come on oh shit I know I know Surely I just get dressed and go in. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Eh, uh, okay. Holy shit. You fucked him up, good. obviously chosen to go down Georgie's path more than going for the crooked man although I don't Come know. Come on, we can't stay here. 
Hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Hey guys. Shit. Hello, Big B. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. Just leave it alone. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. George. You think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just trying I to- I know what you were trying to do. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. <sighs> Oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Killer. Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them to keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here, either. I know that, but did it have to be like this? How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. 
that was the point. Then the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you, sometimes all your options are shit. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really- Just shut up. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Oh. Vivian! Oh. No! Oh! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Damn it! Fucking hell! Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... <sighs> oh. Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know, the bastard deserves it. Make a promise to a dying man. Don't worry about the crew, <sighs> man. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. I'm not sticking around for much longer. That's not who I am. Sure it's not. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. Let's not draw this out. All right, Georgie. Fuck. Fuck, man, this is vicious. Jesus. It's so messed up though that it's like, I feel a little bit of remorse, even though I'm killing the people that did all this. You know what I mean? These are the people that we have been looking for since day one, and now we've got rid of them, but yet somehow I still feel guilty about it. Wow. I actually felt like I was gonna, like, vom a little bit then. <laughs> Horrible. Just the way she took that off and her head came off, like, 
we finally saw what happened to Faith and God, right. Okay. So we're moving on now. Still more. He's here, all right. Okay, Mr. Crooked Man. So the Crooked Man told Georgie to take care of it. Georgie tried to basically turn around and say, well, I didn't want to do it. He made me do it. I had no other choice, but I don't know. We all have got choices, you know what I'm saying? And that was the path that he decided to take. And I guess I have to be savage because at the end of the day, it's one less asshole to worry about. All these choice and consequence games are making people think that they like know me inside out like what I would choose if I was in that situation but at the end of the day it's like you never really know how you might react in a situation like that. So this is where they've been sending these. The best safety device is a careful worker. Not in Detroit, it's not, it's an android. Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> I don't like Bloody Mary. She kind of creeps me out a little bit because she's like so OP. You used to be something. Yeah, and you're a stalker. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Oh, God. I hate those torture racks. They're so vile. This reminds me of Outlast, you know? but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? This is just sad. Nice. What? How does she keep doing this? Don't be a bitch, and don't jump scare me either. I don't like any of those things. Why is that still spinning like that? I don't know if I've chosen the best way to go, but I'm sticking with it. Just gonna drop. 
drying my hair quick. Ah! Fucking hell! Don't scare me like that! Please don't do that. I gotta be ready for these quick times. What the hell? Where I blocked those! Come out and face me! Oh my god, she's freaking creepy! What the fuck? Oh, the glass on her! Bitch! Ah! Sorry. Did you think you were gonna win against Big Bad Wolf? I don't think so. Whew. Good job, Wolfie. 
She was creepy as shit, was she not? Oh my god. <sighs> he watched the whole thing. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of special... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, All right fine. Let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. <laughs> Don't fuck with me! You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. He looks like the guy from that game. The, um... The insult simulator. He reminds me of one of the characters in that. The reason I'm thinking of that is because they just released a sequel the other day. So, I'm gonna play this nice. I wanted to kill him, but at the same time, I'm thinking of know, Miss White. Know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... 
He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. And after what happened with Mary... Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking crook! This? You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no that doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Fine. Go right ahead. Wait, that's not how this works. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself, but only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you didn't. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where house. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then! we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck?! Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? 
Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit! It's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? They burned my tree to ashes. What? You burned it down? You see? Why would you do that? We were wrong. We shouldn't have done that to you. I... I stand by our reasons. She was helping Crane and the Crooked Man, but we could have handled the situation better. And I'm sorry for that. What choice did I have? It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? We didn't get you into this situation. He did. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. Right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice.
Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just need... Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Yes, you're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? Oh, this is getting... For sake, killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly... They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them. And who sent those two freaks anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did no! you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know- The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to me. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens. Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's one? she doing here? I'd like to- I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. 
Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say, you're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not assure good you, enough. Maybe there will she be has more a if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? You can try it. He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you Great, sure? Great, I have to. This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this one. Whoa! I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! Oh, fuck! Someone help! In you go! There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. Uh. No, I won't. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was thinking I was gonna just put him in the well anyway. For Lily. And faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Kinda deserved it for everything he did. I do think that he was like the head honcho behind everything bad that happened in this game. But that was a really awesome scene because there was times when I was starting to believe, like, wait a minute here, maybe he's not that bad. So, yeah, I feel like um, that was really well written, that last scene. Oh, hi, Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. 
This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. He just winked at me. <laughs> Taking beers into the flat. <laughs> this is the pig that I need in my life. I love Colin. So Miss Snow's kind of off with me now. And Bluebeard seems to have uh, gone up the rankings a little bit. I'm going! Jesus! I thought I paid for him not to go. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. So... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches, that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but... Uh... Look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Aww. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. Sorry. He brings me beer. What do you bring me? You don't bring me beer. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... 
Let me help. You. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own, okay? Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe... Try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, what's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith... I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. 
and I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Wait. Wait. I'm so freaking confused. I'm so confused. So... I don't want to say anything in case it's like way off, but like, was that? I'm so confused. I don't know what to make of that. I really don't know what to make of that. What do you guys like? Help me out here. Leave some things in the comment section because I, I don't know what the heck just happened. Okay, so 68% of players killed Georgie. Quite a lot of us actually brought him back alive, which I'm surprised at, but... How did you punish him? Only 38% of us put him down the well. 98%. Obviously, we're going to accept his gift. What were your last words? I hope I've done some good here. Join the discussion now. What the heck? Okay. So, we're going through everything. Um, you lied to him about seeing Beauty aside. You fought after the interrogation. You gave him a drink. You helped him avoid the farm. So, killed, killed, killed. I burned her tree. Smashed up his place. Oh yeah, I ripped off his arm. I remember that. I reported Jack. Tried to take off Nerissa's. So is Nerissa Faith? Was she Faith all along? Was she glamouring? As someone else to avoid being Faith. Um, don't know why Snow was being off with me come the end. You chose to wait for Tim... You accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. Yeah, I gave Toad money and it annoyed me that it didn't stop him from going to the farm. Alright, that is the end of The Wolf Among Us. I'm so happy that I'm not going to have to wait too long to see season two of The Wolf Among Us. I'm left with a lot of questions after that, but I really thoroughly enjoyed The Wolf Among Us. So thank you so much to everyone for watching this with me going through this experience. I might do some more Telltale games. I'm not sure which one I would go for next. People keep asking me to do The Walking Dead. It is already on my channel. I have all the seasons of The Walking Dead on my channel, so feel free to watch those. And as for me, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.